so let's start with toner um, I'm using the proactive um, step 2 because um, I have um, my skin is um, prone to acne so just apply to all over your face and then um, after that I'm using the proactive moisturizer um, I use this for daytime and after that um, I'm using Revlon for the ready concealer uh, I'm not using foundation because I don't really like my skin to look cakey and bloated and um, I think the Revlon for the ready is um, one of the best concealer ever because um, it always makes my face look like it just got photoshopped yeah, so just apply it on all the scars, um, acne scars, all over your face, and it will cover perfectly, and it lasted like very very long. After that, I'm using the BB cream from Be Cute. I've been using this um, BB cream for more than one year, I think, um, and it works like magic. Well, it's BB magic cream anyway and it always makes me look uh, my complexion looks very well and it also puts extra coverage through my acne scars and all the redness <laughs> on my skin and um, it always looks like I, I am not wearing any makeup at all love this BB cream definitely the best BB cream out there and it's um, I think it's pretty cheap um, compared to other BB cream out there. It's just perfect. And after that, I'm using the eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner I'm using is actually from Revlon as well. Um, the Revlon Color Stay. And um, I read in one of the forums it's like the best um, eyeliner and I think um, it's pretty true because it stays so long it won't even come off with um, any you know, makeup remover um, and after that I'm using just um, kind of a pearl white um, eyeshadow. I like to use the white eyeshadow before I put on any other color uh, on my eye because uh, it will make other colors pop out and it makes your eye look fresh and mm, really cute I think like white in the same color and yep after that, I'm using the. Um, um, sorry, I'm still looking. Yep, there you go. I'm using the uh, kind of a gold, uh, brown, really subtle gold, brownish uh, eyeshadow. I use it um on the crease of my eye. Um, also as a basic. I think it goes really well with um, mostly Asian skin because it makes your eye look fresh and kind of glamorous but not too obvious and after that I'm, I always like to use the darker brown a dark brown color on the end um, the outer edge of my eye to define the crease of my eye I always prefer brown to grayish um, dark gray color because I think um, my face looks really young and um, if I put like dark gray or um, kind of really dark gray I will look um, like I put on too much makeup so brown always always is um 
better choice. The best choice. And um, then I'm using a black eyeshadow. I like to use black eyeshadow on top of my eyeliner because it makes it look uh, more natural and um, blend out my eyeliner really well. So it's not like just one line on the top of your eye. So it blend it out really well. And yep, it looks good, I think. And after that, um, mostly it's time for um, to curl my eyelash. I have quite a um, long eyelashes, so I don't really use fake eyelashes. I just kind of curl it and yeah, curl it twice usually to make it more curly. And I use the Maybelline XXL um, mascara. It works wonder, I think. It's um, very, very natural. It stays very long. And yep. It's, I love this mascara a lot. Always curl. Um, I like to curl one by one of my eyelash so it makes it look like you know you, you got this fake eyelash as well it's actually a natural eyelash and always always also curl your bottom eyelash uh, I always spend lots of time curling my eyelash I think because um, it's Kind of important to the overall look um, if you apply a mascara properly usually um, your makeup will look uh, natural and pretty And um, I bought this Etchit Bling Bling, um, I think it's like eyeliner pencil. Um, it's pearl white and I like to put it um, on the inner corner of my eye to make it pop more. It actually does make your eye look way bigger and fresh. I just put some brownish um, eyeshadow to define my brow and using the the pearl white eyeshadow I used um, in the beginning of this video I contour my chubby cheeks my fat face whatever that is it's just like baby fat and I I'm making kind of a triangle shape under my eye um, instead so instead of using some brown dark brown thing need to do some contouring I'm actually using pearl white to actually contour my face so I'm brightening the um, parts that should be bright instead of darkening the parts that should be dark
it's actually the same um, thing as doing country but I'm just doing the white thing instead of the dark brown I think it looks more natural and it works better uh, on my skin color because it doesn't look dirty and I'm using Etude House um, blush on number 5 um, I've been using this blush for ages and it looks very very pretty just put it on the apple of your cheek um, for chubby cheeks I don't think you should put it like um, way behind um, because yeah it will just mess up the entire idea of the contouring we've done before you just need to put it on the apple of your cheek drag a little, a little bit backwards and that should be it Thank thanks for watching um anyway after that, just put um, lip gloss. I think I'm using the Rimmel lip gloss. I'm not quite sure what is the color, but yeah, I think it looks pretty. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you like this look.